For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir stock recorded a remarkable gain of over 23% on Tuesday, following the release of its quarter three earnings report, which exceeded Wall Street's forecasts. This jump was largely attributed to the heightened demand from the United States government for Palantir's artificial intelligence technology, which continues to play a critical role in national security and advanced data analytics initiatives. During the third quarter, Palantir witnessed a substantial 40% increase year over year in global government spending on its products primarily driven by the United States. This figure reached $408 million, a strong showing that made up 56% of the company's total revenue for the period. This performance surpassed expectations, as Bloomberg consensus estimates had initially forecast revenue from government operations to come in around $379 million. Palantir offers a diverse portfolio of data mining and analysis tools, including its specialized artificial intelligence platform, which has positioned the company as a vital partner in artificial intelligence intelligence for various governmental bodies. Recently, in September, Palantir secured a $100 million contract with the United States military to utilize its artificial intelligence tools in refining targeting processes for airstrikes, showcasing the strategic applications of its technology. Ryan Taylor, who serves as Palantir's chief revenue and legal officer, addressed investors in a conference call held late on Monday. He emphasized that the divide between organizations with artificial intelligence capabilities and those without is expanding quickly, and the entire world is closely observing these developments. Elements. This assertion underscored the critical role artificial intelligence is beginning to play across sectors, especially in fields demanding high precision and analysis, like defense and government intelligence. Palantir's defense-focused work has clearly benefited from increased government attention and funding, particularly as nations across the globe seek advanced technological solutions in the defense sector. However, while government revenue flourished, Palantir's performance in the commercial sector did not match these robust results. Revenue from its commercial client base came in at $317 million, missing the projected figure of $330 million. Palantir's commercial clients include well-known enterprises such as oil and gas giant BP, CBS Broadcasting, and consumer goods company General Mills. The company attributed part of this underperformance to a decrease in revenue from a Middle Eastern government-sponsored enterprise, signaling a potential geopolitical impact on its commercial revenue streams. Although Yahoo Finance requested additional details, Palantir did not provide further clarification on this matter. Palantir reported adjusted earnings per share of 10 cents, surpassing the forecast by 1 cent, and its total revenue amounted to $725.5 million, exceeding the $703.7 million anticipated by Wall Street analysts. This positive performance is indicative of Palantir's strategic alignment with the expanding demand for artificial intelligence, as well as the United States government's increasing interest in AI driven warfare technologies. Over the year, Palantir's stock has gained over 190%, reflecting a broader trend in the artificial intelligence sector. Additionally, in a significant development, Palantir was added to the S&P 500 index in September, marking its growing prominence within the financial markets. You should also know that Brad Zelnick, an analyst from Deutsche Bank, commented on Palantir's recent advancements, noting that the company is among a select few infrastructure software companies that have started to effectively monetize generative artificial intelligence. This achievement places Palantir within a unique category of technology firms that are transitioning from development to revenue generation in the artificial intelligence field, illustrating the significant commercial potential that artificial intelligence is beginning to yield. However, despite Palantir's positive trajectory, some Wall Street analysts remain cautious about the sustainability of its stock rally. According to Bloomberg data, the average forecast for Palantir's share price suggests a potential decline to $32.81 over the next 12 months. Approximately half of the analysts monitored by Bloomberg have given a sell rating for Palantir stock, a sentiment echoed by Zelnick himself, who has maintained a sell rating with a target price of $26. On Tuesday, Palantir stock closed at $51.15, leaving open the question of whether its current valuation aligns with its future earnings potential. Adding to the cautious sentiment, RBC Capital Markets analyst Rishi Jaluria issued a note on Tuesday morning cautioning that we continue to see the risk-reward profile tilting unfavorably, with Palantir shares currently trading at a premium multiple. Jaluria expressed concerns regarding the sustainability of Palantir's commercial revenue growth within the United States, an area that has shown variability. 
He added, We remain cautious about the continued growth of Palantir's United States commercial revenue, particularly given its high valuation. Jaluria's remarks reflect the concern among some investors that Palantir's stock price may be outpacing the company's actual revenue growth in the commercial sector. Palantir's CEO and co-founder Alex Karp, known for his bold and often controversial statements, directly addressed the company's critics during the earnings call. Karp commented that most people in the tech innovation space now view Palantir as a valuable ally, suggesting that the company's image is shifting among industry insiders. Carp explained further, saying, Instead of entering every meeting with doubts, people now recognize Palantir's products as top tier. This shift in perception highlights Palantir's evolving reputation as a leading player in artificial intelligence and data analytics within the technology sector. While Palantir was co-founded by conservative tech mogul Peter Thiel, the company has faced mixed reactions regarding its government collaborations, particularly with agencies such as Immigration and Customs Enforcement and the Israeli Defense Force. Carp's Frequent comments regarding Middle Eastern issues have at times drawn criticism, and Palantir's role as a provider of artificial intelligence technologies to the Israeli Defense Force has led some employees to part ways with the company. During Monday's call, Karp described Palantir's mission as aiming to bring decisive action against the enemies of the United States while improving targeting precision and safety for American allies. This statement highlights Palantir's commitment to supporting national defense while enhancing operational safety for partner nations. In summary, Palantir's third quarter financial results underscore its solidified role in the artificial intelligence landscape, with strong support from government contracts and steady growth in its technological solutions. However, questions remain among analysts and investors regarding the sustainability of its commercial growth. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.